Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from mteltestprep.com and christhemathtutor.com. Today we're going to look at a popular question. This type of question appears on several different exams. It looks at looking at a whole in terms of its parts. And I'm going to take the, um, I'm going to start by uh, looking at a Kit Kat. Now this Kit Kat represent 100% of the candy bar. Now what if I were to give you one third of that candy bar? So there's your third, three sticks. And then I was very kindly, I gave you one more stick. So I give you the three sticks, the one third, plus another stick. And then you know, being the nice guy that I am, I give you a third of one of those sticks. How much of the candy bar did I give you? Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, wait a second, Chris. This is a little tricky here. I'm not so sure I'm following you. Well, let's look at the problem again. And let's think about this as the rectangle problem. In the rectangle, a third of it is shaded. There are two thirds left. One of the thirds has a third shaded. And then in the remaining uh, third, one of, one of the thirds of a third is shaded. And again the question is, how much of the candy bar am I giving you? How much of the candy bar or the rectangle is shaded? Well let's start with this first large chunk. Approximately a third of the rectangle is shaded there. Plus, let's see, I have a third of a third. What would that be? Well, one way to find that out would be just to draw in, a, a, make each one of these thirds have three parts, and then I would count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I got nine sticks. So one out of nine of those are shaded. So one ninth of the candy bar is the second piece that I give you. And then I have a third of one of those thirds, one of those ninths. One way to find this out is to take every stick and divide it into three. Therefore I got nine, eighteen, and twenty-seven. I'm giving you one, twenty-seven. Now at this point here, all we need to do is add up the parts and you'll find out how much of the Kit Kat I share. Well, there's several ways to do this. I'm doing it more of a, you know, a, a, I'm not really doing any type of multiplying fractions and whatnot. I'm simply using the diagram, breaking it into, its, into proportional parts, and sort of figuring out that this is a third, that's a ninth, that's one twenty-seventh. If you can do that, you can solve this problem. So, you're probably saying, well, they all share 27. One third of 27 is 9. One ninth of 27 is 3. And one twenty-seventh is just 1. So when I add up all my parts, I get 13 out of 27. Now sometimes, so that says there that I'm giving you 13 out of 27 on my candy bar. A lot of times these problems say approximately what portion of the candy bar am I giving you? Approximately. Well, approximately, if I just were to change this 27, if I were to just change it just a little bit to 26, then it would be 13 out of 26, or 1 half. Now, what gave me the right to turn it into 26? Because the question's asking approximately how much of the candy bar I gave you. And when it does do that, I should, really, I should really keep this as 27, and then I should add this part here, which is, you know, this is approximately equal to 13 out of 26. Not exactly, which is equal to 1 half. And that's important that you make that distinction. That 13 out of 27, it's not exactly, but it approximately is 13 out of 26, which would equal 1 half. 